Hi there my lovely Lego addicts, welcome back to the channel and sorry for the slight quietness on this channel. A huge thank you for 5k subscribers, um, I am going to hopefully be doing a little celebration video road trip for that, but you're all here for a medieval update aren't you? This is probably one of the most exciting projects I've worked on. We'll take you to the station because I picked up Ollie, ODJ, who was coming to visit me and work on this mock that we've got. Having two people be able to bounce ideas between you, have two people building, it really just improves your build, it really makes you go further than you would on your own and because this was such a mammoth task it was so nice to have Ollie here to sort of help with that. I was also really really lucky because Ollie owns a brickling store and also had a lot of spare slope and mountain parts because he's been working on a great hall mock so it was really nice to kind of combine the parts that I already have and then the parts that he brought in order to create this huge new mock which isn't finished you will see that at the very end but I'm so very excited for the direction of it without further ado let's just get into it because yeah I need to share this with you so Ollie's here we are starting the work on the medieval area what we are going to do is make the mountain bigger but in order to make it bigger it needs to be broken down first so there is no elegant way of doing that so it's more like Hulk smash <laughs> And then we'll start again and it'll come back stronger. In the meantime, I'm going to be building lots of little trees like, um, like this. So like the little pine trees for up the mountain. And then also we have another blacksmith. Also the butthole tiger. <laughs> um, to make into an old build. So probably one of the Hiecha, I don't know what that's, how to pronounce their username, but from Rebrickable. So either the tavern or the watermill. Oh, the bakery, so I have to just decide which one I like best, but lots of plans, little time, much daunting. Well, he's just going for it, it's like... <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> we have taken over the kitchen. So, Ollie's been working on this cave, so we've extended the mountain much further forwards, and then um, it's gonna kind of go, go around a little bit, and the castle, rather than sit against it, is gonna really be part of it. And then this is where the tower is gonna extend upwards, but instead of having a finished wall, you can look into the tower in every sort of, like, um, floor. And we had to, like, obviously take it all apart in order to start from scratch, which is difficult, but at the same time probably the only way, because I think the reason I got stuck is because I was unwilling to take it apart. And then I've started working on the old build of the beautiful blacksmith that is going to be a little bakery, but I mean the only bakery thing about it is sort of this level where you have like this big stove. And this is all sort of like a random area, and I think I may have to take it a bit uh, like away because it's so big. I don't know if it's going to be useful, and also the steps to get to the front door because the front door to the cottage is like one level up. I don't know how useful that is because I think that the steps are really big for a minifigure, they don't feel minifigure scale. It is the next day, still chaos. I have finished the old build of the bakery. Um, I really, really like the angle of the building this side. I really love how the windows sit next to each other, but the roof angle is definitely not perfect. As you can see, there's quite a lot of gap, but obviously it's an old build, so getting it perfect is much harder, especially with an angle like this. It's like a Dutch barn roof angle, so quite a difficult one to get right. And I think it looks really nice like this. Also kind of excited to have them sit together. Like it's so nice to kind of have that village feel. I really like this design at the front here, but it makes it quite difficult to have a good angle because it's blocking the view back to the back of the base plate. So the mock, when we come back from our walk, is going to be sawing this off, getting rid of this in front, use it, creating this as a proper like separate piece, and then maybe putting it here as a sort of stable for the horses and some hay and things. And then this is the progress, actually this is the kitchen floor. Mess, mess, mess. Yes, we did indeed, well we, I <laughs> indeed did drop something on the floor. And this is the progress on the mountain. So we've got sort of like the cellars jail bit that obviously is broken. I'm gonna make that more obviously broken with like planks and stuff, but I just thought it looked quite fun. Here is gonna be the armory and then we'll have to move up. And then here is the side of the mountain, which is looking so nice already. Like I'm really excited about it. We have serious progress on the medieval village. So we've got the bakery, which really is only a bakery because it has an oven, which is just here. This is where 
I'm gonna add some crates and stuff. So they are selling the bread straight from here. And I'm gonna add two or three market stalls. So this is kind of gonna be treated like the main square. So I'm gonna tile this with like some round tiles quite close together. So this feels sort of like square-like. It's not gonna feel very urban, but it's gonna have like, obviously the, the reddish brown tiles to kind of indicate it's a square. Um, maybe I'll add a statue, but I, I think that will feel too urban even because it's quite a rural town. And then I also added a little stable, which I'm gonna add ho um, hoy. <laughs> hay to. Square is coming along. Notice borders up. Here is sort of like the ironmongery stall. Poultry and fish. Bakery. All of them need a lot more stock, but it's a start. Uh, I mean, I guess there's chickens everywhere, so you can replenish your own poultry. ODJ is organized again. Ready to continue to build. Oh yeah. Ben is making coffee to keep us going. This is progress so far on this. I added some caves. The bear's gonna be here. Rat's gonna be there. Um, and this great hall is a massive pain and we haven't got the pieces we need um, and it's all very difficult. Sadly, ODJ has now gone, but I've kind of continued building because I wanted to get a bridge going and I've kind of got this one currently. So here is the structure and here is what it looks like from the bottom and the top, obviously not finished, the. Um, it's based on a technique by Jona Schultz um, on a Brick Nerd article that I found and I really really like the look of it. He kind of made like a Japanese like Asian type bridge um, and I was like oh I have loads of these like sand green like tile things and maybe I can do a similar thing because it looks pretty cool and smooth. So, so far the answer is maybe I can. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's actually pretty doable if you know how. So very impressed. This is really cool. Um, progress continues. Also continuing working on sort of like this web version, I came up with the idea that it may be really cool to have the waterfall come out of like Salazar Slytherin's head because I have a second one and I thought it'd be really fun to kind of utilize it because if you display this and people recognize a piece, they'll be like, oh my gosh, I know what it is. Um, but it's kind of used in a new way. So um, obviously not at all final version, uh, missing one dome piece, not on the support. I was just kind of like trialing out where I wanted to uh, where I wanted to have sit, so like high up or maybe like, slightly lower down. I thought it'd be really cool if like it can go much higher up because the main issue we were having is that the waterfall were, was becoming either really really high or um, just a little bit like haphazard. So actually I thought this may be a solution as to where the water's coming from. And also I really liked this way of creating a waterfall and the way that if it comes out of Slytherin's mouth it is quite a, like a thin stream. So that is what we're doing here. Obviously work in progress. I think the guard house that we've got currently sitting here may go down slightly because I don't want these two to kind of virtually sit on the same level. But um, yeah, continue working. And then you can see the beginnings of the second tower, which is gonna be slightly higher up. Right, I think I've gone as far as I can with the bridge for now. So as you can see, I think the curve is quite nice. Um, I only have three of these and I actually want them in reddish brown rather than black, but I think it, pretty cool and it worked at the angle more or less obviously this side is not attached yet and I had to snip those hoses off because they were too, obviously too long but I knew that beforehand um but yeah I think it looks pretty cool it's definitely pretty wide so I'm gonna have to widen the road a little bit but possibly that would have been a good thing anyway because actually it was quite narrow the way I designed it so it's another morning, the last morning of the medieval work, I'm afraid, because it's Monday, second Easter day. So I started doing some furniture builds because we've obviously focused on lots of interiors and kind of like big builds recently. And actually some of the towers, and obviously the first one is built, but the second one is yet to be built, which I don't have enough bricks for, um, will need interiors. So I thought I'd start with some interiors and I found this really cool um, Instagram thing called Lego Fan UI, as you can see. And they have lots of really cute tutorials of really nice furniture things, and now I wanna make all of them. So that is kind of what I've been doing today. Anything that I don't have, I've been adding to um, my wanted lists for future reference. But yeah, it's been like a really nice sort of like start to the day of like just really easy little cute furniture builds. All right, it's Monday afternoon. I'm considering the vast amount of mess we've made because of building this medieval mock over the days. I think this is the time where I have to sadly 
quit and put it back in its place and call it a day. And I have made a ginormous list, wish list of stuff that I need. Some of the things are minifigure stuff because I really want to create more minifigures. Some are like the roof bits, the new timber that we want to do on the tower because we want to do sand green and black timber buildings attached to the tower in this sort of three in one medieval style. Lots of the bricks to finish certain builds that we've done, also the back rock work, loads of rock pieces we need just because we are only halfway through and if, if that and we will need so many more before we're finished. More minifigure bits, more bridge things, furniture things, base things. Basically it's been the most delightful weekend. I am absolutely exhausted but it was really really fun and I think the the progress we have made with the mock is just insanity. So many really cool inspirations from online like I think loads of stuff that I've either built or been inspired by has been from Instagram so there's been a lot of just beautiful mocks. I want to just shout out Slim Jim, uh, Slim Jim Lego as well like he's been such an inspiration and just fun to talk to because we're both medieval enthusiasts. I wish we had another week to work on this that would be so nice but sadly real life is intruding and and work and things go on. showing you that it's actually back in place and it's all in one piece yay so it's currently here back on top of the wardrobe yes i know ben's beautiful edition is still there it looks much smaller actually sitting on top of the wardrobe than it felt when it was on the table and it's definitely a nicer one to look down on than up towards but at the same time i am still super super hyped by everything that we've done what an adventure genuinely it's been it's been joy. I can't believe that I was so lucky to actually get to work on all of this. Wow. So I hope that lived up to expectations and I hope that you enjoyed actually coming along with me and Ollie, I guess, to um, work on this mock. I've had such a joy working on it. I can't believe what it looks like. It's so good. I'm so excited. So let me know what you think we should add. And it's probably going to be a tiny little while until we do another update because we have run out of parts. So. Parts will have to be acquired very soon. A lot of light blue grey, reddish brown and dark blue grey slopes are required. But don't worry, we will get there and it's going to be ace when we do. So thank you so very much for watching, you lovely people. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, wherever you may be. And I will see you all very soon, I hope. Uh, goodbye! <laughs> it was bound yes. to happen. I fell over. We just created a bit of a mess. My toe is fine though.